Okay, now I'm trying to do another fat fingered demo. Not much of a demo this time. For some reason, my computer is getting maxed out, everything, but whatever. Um, I want to talk about uh, package managers, and I want to do it quickly. Um, so, if you've seen from the beginning, I'm using a use package, which is like, which you configure all your packages from the, that was weird, uh, from, what am I talking about? Uh, from within the configuration, so uh, these things we talked about at the beginning. Okay, package manager. Um, so we're using use package. Yeah, and we're using the built-in package EL to do that. Now, I'll do some more things here to do. Advanced package manager. And what, what I'm trying to be able to do here, really the most important thing for me now is one that you see here that we have, uh, I want package more to be more lazy loading and not just lazy loading but lazy installing so that what that means is that uh, say i'm starting up emacs and i have no intention of let's say um using a, a php HPA, php files editing php files i don't need all the packages that i'm using for that to be installed and loaded and downloaded right away especially if i'm on a new machine i just want to um i don't know what edit the uh, plain text file, something like that. And the other thing that I want to be able to get doing is is uh, this list look like this? I think they really look like this, right? Uh, how do you do a list in here? Or list. How do you do it? How do you? What is it? What did it do? I don't remember how to do this. I think it's probably a minus. Let's try that again. Org list. Okay, uh, so what what I'm trying to achieve here is one, like I said above, is lazy loading, installing. And what's becoming more important to me now is that I want to be able to contribute and contribute uh, back. Uh, okay. And what that means is, right now with package GL, it downloads the uh, source, compiles it, and so we can look at the source. But if we want to edit it, and say if we if there's an issue that I want to fix, I can't fix it and then post it back up and have it uh, accepted as a pull request. Um, so there's a couple. The, what happened? There's a few times that this happened. Um, and I also want to be able to use my fixes. So if I make a fix and upload the pull request, so, you know, sometimes I can do it in a different branch or in a different folder um, or a different directory and I can submit the pull request, but a uh, use package isn't going to use my um, my fork by default until it gets merged, until my merge request gets merged back again. And I want to use my changes. Yeah, one of the things that recently is in, uh, what you see, um, uh, Macedon.el. Um, so when you are composing, it opens up in fundamental mode instead of text mode. 
so it doesn't run all my text mode uh, hooks that I put in there. And I think that I should do that. And that's a pretty easy fix. And then there was another bug that I wanted to try and fix, which just seemed easy, but I, I put off doing them because I haven't found any good way to. Um, should be probably doing something on the screen here. Probably boring, huh? Um, okay. So there's uh, what are the options? Options that we got here. We have Copa, which I think is all just done, and there is. Um, Borg, 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 and there is the, these are the ones that I've been thinking about, straight, not deal. Okay, so what does Quelpa do is going to, Quelpa, um, uh, it works along with package, and, but you can, uh, specify other other branches. I think for some other project that I try to work out that uh, uh, a board does is it treats all of your uh, packages as submodules, as git submodules. So that's a little bit less Emacsy submodules. Now this I learned today, um, control supermodels, sub, order, sub side, no, uh, control and semicolon will correct the last thing, so sub mod, rules, yeah. which is annoying. Yeah. And the last one is, uh, straight.el which is a newer one um, and this I think is probably going to be the one that I'm going to try first because it looks like the most promising uh, it I guess it, it, it's goals some of its goals are what I'm trying to get done here which is it does the lazy package loading oh uh, one thing I want to mention all three of these they also work with um, use package so I shouldn't really have to do too much messing around with my um, my configuration what, what I've already written uh, okay so straight EL uh, it's actually meant to be used as a from a config file and so you write your packages you want to run in the config file like a, like we're doing with use package it, it's kind of a, a lot like use package <laughs> And this music is probably bothering you. Turn it down a bit. Um, a lot like use package. So you you write macros like we've been doing for use package. We have one. So one. We have one here. I can show. Right. So use package config all this type of stuff. Um. But you can also specify. So by default, instead of downloading them from the the different repositories. It will download it from the from Git, and it'll use the GitHub or GitLab or wherever it's registered to. And you can also specify that um, that you want to use a fork. So you can specify that I want to use my local fork, but it also do pull the it should also pull the updates from the original. So I have my fork, whatever that is. So I don't know. So let's say, say I, I don't know what it's called like this, but straight, uh, straight. You know, say I installed it like that, and I'll have. I can say that my fork would be right. So this will be the fork, and it'll use this uh, my fork. And I can make my changes and I can push it back up. But when I try to get updates, it'll also check straight EL if there's updates there. Yeah, so that looks really promising. Uh, that's one that I think I'm going to try. And I hope it's going to work. Ten minutes now. I hope that somebody watches and give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think about this. Okay, call to.